To attach your resistance band, you're gonna open up the door and you're gonna place that strap with the cylinder piece at the end of it inside the door. The cylinder piece is inside, so that way it doesn't pull through. And if you get too much of the cylinder piece into the door, it doesn't close very well. So you have to find this happy medium is where you can get that strap to close the door in there. And then here you can see that I am going to arrange all of the bands to the left from lightest to heaviest. These are new to me, so I don't have the colors quite memorized, but I just thought that it made it a little bit easier to get through my workout quicker and not fiddling with all of the different colors and trying to figure out which one was which. But I did disconnect them, and then I'll connect them as I go. So you can see here, I connect one to a, sh a little handle, and then you're gonna feed it through the door strap and then you can step back and do your exercise. Now, the cool thing with this specific set is it goes up to 150 pounds, and how it does that is you can add multiple resistance bands to your anchor. And so if you need a little bit heavier for a row, for instance, this one is using your back, and your back is really strong. So you'll grab the 50 pounder plus maybe the 30 pounder, and then you're rowing 80 pounds versus just sticking with the 50. So if the last few exercises or last few reps are not difficult, remember that you can double up. Now, in this specific video, I am using my four-year, so I kind of run out of space and I'm trying to get it in the camera view, but you can see here, I'm going to double up and loop my band in the anchor. So if you are low on space, you may have to do this if you're doing it in your house, or if you're in your garage and you have nothing behind you, then you can step back as far as you need. But I kind of felt that I was running out of room, so I doubled up my loop. So I just looped it through again to give me a little bit of space. Now, another option is that you might not even even use the handles because they are a little bit long. Um, and I'll show you here in a second. So for a tricep exercise, for instance, you're gonna go ahead and move your anchor up to the top above the hinge and then make sure that it's closed tight and pull on it so that's not gonna go anywhere. You don't wanna snap your face. And then here for a tricep, I'm just gonna loop my band through. I'm not even gonna use the handles. I'm just gonna hold on to the ends of the resistance band and then push straight down. So it allows me to get a good exercise without adding the extra length that the handles do.